hello hello welcome back to another video my name is Gemma and it has been a hot minute <laughs> since I filmed and uploaded something I have been somewhat busy <laughs> so yeah apologies that I haven't uploaded anything for a couple of weeks work is pretty much out of control <laughs> um, and then it was Sam and Carl's birthday and Charlie got ill and yeah so it's 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 been a busy couple of weeks um, I'm not gonna lie <laughs> and it's not actually showing any signs of really easing up uh, until Christmas so my uploading may be a little erratic um, between now and then life is life right <laughs> so I will try my best I will I will try my best uh, and hopefully after Christmas I will get back on track we shall see not gonna make any promises but we shall see so that's sort of like the little life update uh, so if you're still here and still watching I, I very much appreciate it but today 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 this is super overdue but we're gonna do the bookie bank we're gonna see how many tokens I'm adding and how many tokens I'm taking away so um, if you missed mommy talking about this whatever it was last month the month before um, <laughs> So I am trying to be a bit more intentional about the books that I read and so, or oh, the books that I buy. And so for every two physical books I read, I get a token and then I can buy a book with that effectively. Uh, the same for audio and then for ebooks, it's three, three books read to one book bought just because my, uh, my audio TBR, my ebook TBR is uh, quite ridiculous. So, so there are already some tokens in there from the first month that we ran this so we'll add tokens first and then take them out because otherwise I think I am overdrawn <laughs> in month one so this is actually for October the books that I read and bought in October because I'm so far behind so hopefully I will do my bookie bank for November a little bit earlier on in December we shall see <laughs> so with all the the, the preamble out of the way the books I read so we'll start with physical books I actually read four uh, there's only no I read five there's only four here because I've already rehomed one so I read La Bastarda, Heatwave, Maps of Our Spectacular Bodies and Heartstopper Volume 4 in October so and the five by Hallie Rubenhold so I read five books uh, so that's two tokens and I carry one into the next month uh, so physical is pink so I get two pink tokens doo, 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 doo. Uh, so I'll put them in and we will be taking some out soon <laughs> um, but we'll put those in for now um, happy days <laughs> ebook wise I uh, blah, 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 blah. I read three so I read the mill on the floss lady orderly secret and the five I had it in two formats I had it <laughs> on my kindle and physical I counted it because it's now off my tbr if that makes sense uh so uh library books and anything that I get off of um audible plus or script I don't count uh but anything that I've physically purchased I do count sorry if I'm going a bit fast I, I, I even today I have very limited filming time so we're we're, we're just going for it. We're just going for it. So I, I get one ebook taken. Ebooks are green. So one green taken in the bookie bank. Um, audio. I read, listened to three. The Aletta, A Brief History of Time, and um, Jane Seymour from the Six Tudor Queens series so that's one token again and I carry one into next month and audio is lello as we say in my house um, so one yellow token in the boogie bank so what did I purchase what did I purchase so I purchased two physical books so I need to take two pink tokens out here so easy come easy go right <laughs> so one oh sorry you can't even see what I'm doing bear with me hopefully this whole process will improve when I'm less crotchety um, so one and two um, and the two books that I purchased were 
uh, What Have You Left Behind by Bishra Al Maktari. Uh, this is translated, mm, I can't remember which language it's translated from, maybe the Arabic by Sawad Hussein. It might be the Arabic. Yes. So this documents eyewitness testimony from the Yemeni civil war where over three and a half thousand people, 350,000 people died. I know nothing about the Yemeni war. It isn't super well publicised uh, in the Western world and I think books like this need more attention. Um, so yes, I picked this up. This was one of my anticipated releases um, for the end of the year, um, anticipated translated releases. I will leave that video linked below if you're interested. Uh, so yeah, I picked that one up um, in the beautiful Fitzcarraldo white. And the other one was really random. <laughs> So I went up to the most northern town in England. I actually thought it was in Scotland, but it's not, it's in England. Um, Berwick upon Tweed for work uh, a few weeks back. And when I was there, I saw this adorable little bookshop. Uh, I think I did take a picture. If I can find it, I'll, I'll put it here. Um, and I was like, mm, to my colleague, I said, uh, if this meeting doesn't run as long as we think it will, then maybe we can just pop in there before we jump on the train back. And uh, alas, that did happen. So we went in and we had a look around and I picked up a book that I've never heard anybody talking about, but it caught my eye and it actually sounds fantastic. It's another translated book. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm really on a translated kick at the moment. And it's Binu and the Great Wall, which is translate, written by Su Tong and translated from the Chinese by Howard Goldblatt. Um, it does actually say that it's an international bestseller. Uh, so if anyone's read this or heard anything about it, then let me know. Um, but it follows uh, a woman, Binu, whose husband is basically, um, he disappears and it turns out that he's been sort of transported to work as a, a, a labourer on the building of the Great Wall of China. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. I know nothing about the building of the Great Wall of China. Um, I certainly don't know what how that affected the people of China at the time so yes 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 please um, and it's yeah beautiful little hardcover so yeah so those were the two physical books that I picked up I picked up two ebooks um, so I'm hoping yes it's okay it's okay so I have I do have two two of these in here so so far so good i'm not in debt um so the two ebooks i picked up were the complete works of mary elizabeth braddon on kindle which was 99p so if you are interested in mary elizabeth braddon you can get everything she ever wrote for 99p on kindle and that was on the back of loving lady audley secret so so much uh so now i have all of her work to work through at some point obviously it will take me a while to get that book off of my tbr because it's But yeah, so I picked that one up and then the other one I saw on a daily deal and that was Upgrade by Blake Crouch. I read and loved Dark Matter a couple of years ago and I've been meaning to get to some more of his work. Upgrade is his newest release from this year. So when I saw it, <laughs> I, I couldn't resist. So those are the two audiobooks. I believe Upgrade is about sort of like a man who takes like some drugs to become like a superior human or something um so like his senses are all enhanced i don't know we'll see we'll see what what that's about but um <clears throat> it's plate crouch i trust his writing usually sort of like sci-fi thriller uh so we'll see and then audio wise three three purchases um so what kind of audio oh Oh my goodness, look at that. That is literally perfect. Three tokens, three audiobooks. Excellent. So I picked up The Lost Girls of Willowbrook by Ellen Marie Wiseman. I picked that one up because with the group pick for Historathon about a girl who is a twin and she finds out that her sister, who she thought was dead, is not actually dead. She was in Willowbrook school um for sort of troubled kids and she finds out this because her sister has escaped uh, and then she tries to find her sister and things escalate from there i will be honest i've dnf this book <laughs> so yeah that'll come up in my wrap up but uh yeah i purchased that 
And then I did a two for one dealie the other day and I picked up I Claudius by Robert Graves, which is sort of a fictional retelling of the life of uh, Claudius back in, you know, in the Roman times. Don't know too much about it, but I do know that Jack over at Spread Book Joy really liked this book and I've been meaning to get to it for a while. And I think it might be in like diary entries. I might be making that up, but we'll see. And the other one was a non-fiction called Bitch, which is about um, sort of women, or not women, females in nature. And I saw this recommended on Rachel over at Rachel's book. Is it Rachel's book nook? If it's not, I will put it here. Um, I absolutely love Rachel's channel, she's fab. And I remember this quote vividly, because I went to write a comment about this book, and because it's called Bitch, <laughs> YouTube was like, ah, you are being abusive. <laughs> and I was like, no, that's the name of the book. Uh, so yes, those are the three audiobooks that I picked up. Uh, so, as I said, we are, we are cooking with gas here. I have no takens left, um, <laughs> but I haven't overspent, so this is good news. As I said, I will do my November one and try to make it a little bit earlier on in the month in December. So apologies for that, but life, <laughs> life. But if you are interested in the video I mentioned earlier where I talk about anticipated translated fiction releases coming before the end of the year, I'll leave that video here and I will see you all very soon with another one. Bye guys.